History of Timor Leste. This animation is for entertainment purposes only. And this animation may not coincide with historical moments. In the 16th century, the Portuguese arrived on the island of Timor. In 1556, the Portuguese established headquarters. Hola. 30 years later, most of the island of Timor became a Portuguese colony. Who are you? We are Portuguese, we want to buy your sandalwood. Okay. The price is so cheap, I have to rule this island. I will be rich if I sell this wood to Europe. Ha 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 ha. Now the land is ours. You must submit to us. Ha ha ha. No. In the 17th century, the Dutch ruled around Coupang, began to compete for the island of Timor. In 1859, the Lisbon Treaty was signed to divide the island of Timor. During World War II and 1941, the Portuguese refused to cooperate with the Allies. So the Allied troops occupied Portuguese Timor, to stem the Japanese troops. On February 19, 1942, Japan attacked the island of Timor. February 10, 1943, the island of Timor was occupied by Japanese troops. In 1945, Japan finally surrendered to the Allies. The Portuguese returned to Timor, under the pretext of destroying the remnants of the Japanese troops. In 1974, there was a revolution in Portugal. It created a power vacuum in Portuguese Timor. Then there was competition between parties in Portuguese Timor. On November 28, 1975, Fredlin declared independence. America and Australia worried about the communist threat, supported Indonesia to invade Portuguese Timor. Bro. Bro. Fredlin declared independence, and was recognized by the Soviet Union and China. Communists have arrived in my yard. What? Communist? No, we are not communist. Bro. Fredolin, that's communist bro. Yes, bro. What? Communist? I have to prevent it. We support you bro. After 24 years, under Indonesian rule. In 1999, under UN supervision, a referendum was held. The result of the referendum, the majority of the people of East Timor wanted independence.